Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and I'm doing a review on an application called OpenSignal. Uh, you could get this application for free in the Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and pop this application open. Uh, okay. So basically what this application does, let's go ahead and turn on 4G um, and GPS. We will be needing both for this application I'm pretty sure so basically what this application does is it allows you to view your signal strength uh, the direction of the tower that uh, like the cell phone tower where it's at uh, basically kind of viewing is screwed up because I'm using in horizontal view it's actually supposed to be in vertical but I'm doing this um, for the sake of uh, the video fitting nicely into the YouTube player. Um, so here we have um, like the little compass here, the circle, and right behind it, it's supposed to be probably underneath it, we have like uh, the reception uh, like percentage, we have 65 uh, signal strength. So we could go ahead and actually uh, refresh looks like we're gonna have to do this in um, portrait because it's really not working in horizontal um, so you could actually refresh your network so it actually as you could tell closed my signal and totally refreshed it and it updates your signal strength and stuff like that I don't know why it says zero let's try that again refresh okay so we also have the you're using a 3G network I'm using a 4G network um, has a map of cell phone towers within the area I think or no it shows you the map of the cell phone tower that I'm using I didn't even know that there was one so close to me. Um, then we have a graph which is signal history detail. Uh, so my average signal is 23 percent maybe because I spend a lot of time on the subway and fortunately there's very low signal in the subway and also I live in the basement of my house so I have weaker signal underground obviously but whatever uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at data usage so we get around I think that's like oh we could test it actually probably gonna get around like one megabyte per second or so if we get the correct reception hmm. So, so this application has a lot of features to like test your, um, as we could see. Oh, we actually have really fast over like around 11 megabytes, 27. Or no, never mind. Oh, that's upload. So it's going to show us the download and upload speeds, which is pretty cool. So download was at. Uh, 10,442 kilobytes per second, which is like. 10.4 megabytes per second and upload was uh, 2231 kilobytes per second which is around 2.3 uh, megabytes per second which is pretty awesome um, let's go ahead and look at cells I'm not really sure what this is oh well, I guess this just shows you the cell phone towers that you're connected to at what time and the RSSI um, let's go ahead and signal strength, that's an average overview. So our signal strength right now is 61% and tower direction is, uh, that's, I think that's east. Never, no that's west, sorry, yeah. So it's west of me and you could see it just updated my signal strength dropped to 51 percent now I'll back up to 56 so this is a great application to get if you're having trouble finding uh, a signal it could help you 
uh, track down the nearest tower. Um, and it's like a good application to have. Uh, there aren't really no advertisements on it. I haven't seen any, which is pretty awesome. And it's a free application. Uh, we also have a couple percent uh, time on network type. So most of the time we are using an unknown internet usage. 4G is less than a quarter. It's like one eighth or one sixth and yep yeah, so that's it for today guys thanks for watching and be sure to check out this application the link will be in the description check it out check out my previous videos and I actually thought about it for quite a bit I think I will be getting the LG Optimus Nexus I think it's gonna be called I probably will be getting the phone when it is released through the Google Play Store. Uh, I've noticed when I had my uh, Nexus S that for some reason, software wise, the phones are a lot uh, better with the Android OS than other phones. Like I find them less laggier, probably because everything's Google approved and they get the software updates the fastest. So. I think I'm going to be getting the phone when it's released, so stay tuned for uh, those reviews. And thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you like the application, and see you in the next video. Peace.